Knives, guns, and pepper spray, just some of the weapons that have made it into local courtrooms. Courthouse security guards have the difficult task of making sure dangerous weapons don't get into courtrooms each day. Yeah, all new at 6, West 2's Jason Guy takes us inside a local courthouse to show us the confiscated contraband. The Seminole County Courthouse was thrust into the national spotlight during the George Zimmerman trial. Each year, more than 200,000 people pass through these doors and through these metal detectors. The number of court targeted acts of violence has been increasing in recent years, despite beefed up security at state and federal courthouses across the country. I don't think anyone can truly predict the behavior of someone who's going to go to court. In January of 1984, Thomas Provenzano went to the Orange County Courthouse for a hearing on a disorderly conduct charge wearing fatigues and armed to the teeth. When security tried to search him, Provenzano started shooting and ultimately killed three court deputies. From 2005 to 2012, more than 400 incidents of courthouse violence, from shootings and bombings to stabbings and other violent assaults, have occurred. Because I don't think there's a judge on the bench that hasn't been threatened. It's up to Seminole County Sheriff's deputies to make sure dangerous items don't get inside the courthouses in Sanford. We're there to keep the peace and to make sure that everyone is safe. If you bring a firearm in, that's definitely going to get you in some trouble. That includes some of the things deputies have seized. Knives, throwing stars, brass knuckles, pepper spray, or anything else that could cause harm. The thing that never ceases to amaze the deputies is when people drop their items in the bucket, keys, wallet, and out comes their illegal narcotics. That never gets old. And though this crucifix appears harmless, you look a little bit closer and you see the tiny knife. That tiny knife could cause a little bit of damage to someone. Deputies have even confiscated handcuff keys from courthouse visitors. Once deputies seize an item, you don't get it back. The contraband is locked up at the sheriff's office and later destroyed. It's essential to have security in the courtroom, in the courthouse, in the parking lots, so people aren't afraid to come to courts and speak the truth. Jason Guy, WESH 2 News.